Good afternoon and welcome to Washington Academy for tonight's first and hopefully only virtual winter award ceremony. First of all, spring athletes, my deepest heartfelt sympathy to you for losing out on your season. Seniors, my heart goes out to you. I feel awful. Underclassmen, if I could give you any advice, if you could take anything from all this, please learn. Don't take anything for granted. Don't take any pitch for granted. Don't take any smash for granted, any sprint, any throw. It could all be taken away at any time. So live life to the fullest and take advantage when you're playing sports and appreciate every moment that you are in. Thank you. Okay, at this time, I want to explain our awards and how they go. Um, awards are given, coaches are allowed to give four individual awards. Uh, junior varsity players receive certificates of completion. A letter, a varsity letter is awarded to each student who participates in a varsity sport one time only. They also get a one-time emblem. For example, an emblem for a basketball player would be a basketball, cheering it would be a pom-pom. Uh, you also get a service bar for each year that you participate in the sport, and you can receive a captain pin and also a manager pin, which goes out to the team manager. At this time, what I'd like to do before we get started with the awards portion, I want to recognize a few special people. First of all, special people are PBC Senior All Academic Seniors. These are seniors which have a 90 or above grade point average and they've maintained that grade point average for at least six semesters. Recognizing Riley Frazier, Girls Varsity Basketball. Elena Maggiore, Girls Varsity Basketball Manager. Greg Moulton, Boys Varsity Basketball. Ethan Robinson, Boys Varsity Basketball. Alexa Buya, cheering. Elizabeth Graham, cheering. Ava and Sydney Presley, cheering. Zane Fitzsimmons, swim. Jamin Hahn, swim. Sophie Samalova, swim. And Taylor Bridges for wrestling. And again, those folks have all maintained a 90 or above grade point average. Now, one of the neat things that I get to do as an athletic director, I get to choose four seniors, two boys and two girls, who attend a scholar athlete banquet put on by the PVC. The PVC stands for Penobscot Valley Conference. The Penobscot Valley Conference gives 12 individual cash awards for six boys and for six girls. There are roughly about 35 teams in the Penobscot Valley, so there's uh, roughly 100 or so kids that attend uh, this awards night. This year, I was very fortunate to take with me Riley Frazier, Merrick Veal, Zane Fitzsimmons, and Nia Eritakis. And by the luck of the draw, we had one person who got drawn for a $1,000 cash award, and that was Nia Eritakis. Congratulations, Nia, way to go. At this time, I'd like to introduce the Junior Varsity Boys Basketball Team. Everybody receives a certificate. They are coached by Mr. Mike Lenfesty. Team members are Ben Savage, Logan Robinson, Kaysen Ferguson, Ethan Hicks, Dylan Dow, Russell Kirschman, Joey Day, Caden Klein, Brandon Godfrey, Brandon Porter, Gavin Bixler, Aiden Stewart and Aiden Watamaka. First, I'd like to thank Mr. Steves and Tammy Ramsdale. Without their help, none of this would be able to happen. I also would like to thank the parents. Without your commitment, at my level, practices and the day-to-day -day things we do would not be possible. At the JV level, the most important thing is development. As a competitor, anytime you have a chance to compete, you want to win. But it doesn't always work out that way. I feel like there is some definite improvement throughout the season and that was clear to see in the games where we were able to play a team for a second time. The second time we played, not only was it clear that we had improved, it was also clear to our opponents that we had improved. Now for our awards. 
First is most improved, Brandon Porter. Early in the season, he seemed to be feeling out the game at the JV level. It was clear he was a good athlete and committed to the team, but he didn't get the most playing time. His response to that was he worked even harder. He wanted to show me that he deserved more playing time, and his confidence just seemed to grow and grow with the more playing time that he received. By the end of the season, he was one of our best players. Next, freshman of the year, Casey Ferguson. It didn't take me very long to realize that for our team to be at, the be at our best, he needed to be on the floor. He was kind of quiet and very polite, but once the game started, I got to see what kind of fierce competitor he was and what kind of shooter he was. Next is Defensive Player of the Year, Ben Savage. Defense is a want-to skill. When I think of defense, I think of effort. And no one gave me more effort on the defensive end than Ben. Even when things weren't necessarily going perfect for him offensively, his effort never wavered on the defensive end. He was committed to playing tough, consistent defense all season. Finally, Offensive Player of the Year, Aiden Wanamaker. This player carried us at times offensively. He's a fierce competitor, and his response to adversity faced throughout the season was to work even harder. He worked tirelessly to help us try to win and quickly became a team leader. Finally, I just want to say thank you to you guys for another great season. I hope you're staying safe and staying home. Make sure you're doing your schoolwork, and I'll see you this summer. Thank you.